Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 38 Locking Jigsaw Puzzle. It's a follow-up to 37 which was the Jigsaw Puzzle and I have that FLA opened on my stage now. If when you did this 37 tutorial you wrote down the positions X and Y for each piece then you don't have to watch the first few few minutes here because I'm just going to explain to those that may have not done that. So what you want to do is lock all the layers, unlock the pictures layer, make it about 50% and bring your pictures in one at a time and take the time to line them up as good as you can possibly get them. Now there's mine lined up as good as I could get it. Then open your properties panel and click on your pieces one at a time. There's piece one as you can see up in here in the properties panel and these are the coordinates that you want to write down for these pieces. Make sure to write down both the X and Y coordinates of each piece. 198, 4, 5, one, these are, and then you want to do piece 2, then you want to do piece 3 and so on and record those on the piece of paper. Once you've done that you can come back and move them out of the way. You move them back out of the way. Lock all the layers. Select the pictures layer. Insert a layer and call it targets. T-A-R-G-E-T. -E Using your rectangle tool. It doesn't matter what color, fill, or anything you have. Is draw a little square. Let's make this about 100%. Draw a little square. Selection tool. Select it. Modify it. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. And call it T-A-R-G underscore MC. Targ underscore MC. While this one is selected, open the properties panel, give it an instance name, T-A-R-G-1 underscore MC. And in here, type in the coordinates you had for your piece one. I'm putting in 206.45. I hope these are right. 152.5. Nine five. Naturally, yours are going to be different than mine. Okay. Open the library panel. Grab that targ movie clip. Drag it on the stage once. Drag it on the stage twice. And drag it on the stage for each piece you have. Select one of the pieces. Open it up. Give it the instance name targ2. Underscore MC and write down the coordinates you have for your piece number two. Read the rest of them. I have all my pieces targets recorded and they look reasonably well. There they are. Make sure they're, they're small like that. Then lock them layers. Okay, Let's now make the stage small again so we can see our pieces unlock the pieces layer and select the pieces one at a time so we'll do this one first double click on it so now we're inside that movie clip name this layer piece lock it insert a layer label it target T-A-R-G now let's make this bigger again we'll go back and forth here and this is that piece right here that we have selected and I'm going to draw because the picture layer is locked I'm going to pick up my rectangle tool and make a very small rectangle right there highlight it modify it convert it to a symbol it's a movie clip and this is tar t-a-r underscore mc and open the properties panel give it that t-a-r one underscore MC and now while it's selected 
open the alignment panel if you don't have the alignment panel you pick it up under window alignment there it is there open the alignment panel make sure align to stage is selected and we're going to center it boom boom I have to select it first select it and we're going to center it and that puts it right on the center of that movie clip go back to scene one select piece two you're inside that movie clip open the do the same thing I'll just do this one with you make this piece lock it target open the library panel it's this TAR one this TAR bring this in close this off open the alignment panel op open the properties panel give it the instance name this is TAR2 underscore MC because we're on piece number two while it's selected open up the alignment panel align the stage and that will center that on that one repeat that for all your pieces and I'll be back I have all my pieces done each one has its little target on it and we can see that now we'll straighten it out later on now we're going to go back to the action I want scene one selecting my actions layer lock all layers select the action frame one open the actions panel and down at the bottom of where we have this section for piece number one at the bottom of that after that last curly bracket before this piece two enter and type 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 it's an if statement if bracket targ1 underscore mc that's the target that's on the stage period hit test object small h capital T capital O that will turn blue open bracket piece one underscore MC that's the movie clip piece one dot period and inside that there's another movie clip called another TAR one underscore MC which is the target we made on that movie clip close bracket close bracket there's the open curly bracket for this if statement there's the close curly bracket for the if statement and in here what we're going to do is tell the piece PIEC one piece one underscore MC period X that'll turn blue equals and that's the coordinate that you wrote down for its X copy that and paste it in change the X to a Y and put down the Y coordinates now if this works as soon as we get close with piece one it will lock in the place so let's test this movie and the smaller you make these squares these targets the more accurate you have to be so we're going to put it there and assume it's there it locks in place the other ones don't yet naturally so I'm going to pause well let's do it let's do it let's copy this copy this what we just put in go down into piece two at the very bottom of it where it goes back to piece three insert a line paste it and turn the ones to a two to a two 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 and naturally change the coordinates I'm going to do the rest of them and I will get back make sure make sure that when you do your last piece there should be one more curly bracket which is the curly bracket that belongs to the original the original function so I have mine all done let's test it out and see what happens I just want to expand my stage a little bit if I bring this piece in as soon as those two get close it locks in that's good locks in very good locks in locks in and there's your puzzle locking now we got to get rid of those 
back to scene one uh, unlock the targets layer make your stage like 20 50 percent or something like that so you can see everything and selection tool select this target there it is there open the properties panel and under color effects if you haven't got it open it here go to the alpha and make the alpha zero zero and now it disappears it's still there but it's disappeared select this one same thing make the alpha as soon as you click the alpha set at zero it'll disappear next two do this one and do this one they're still there as far as acting as a button or movie clip but they're not going to be seen one at a time let's unlock the pictures layer double click on this one make sure you have that movie clip car one selected and not your picture itself again alpha it disappeared go back to scene one open another movie clip car two same thing back to scene one there's my third piece piece three I want to see I don't want the piece I want the target itself so get inside of it there there's the target make sure it's the target you're dealing with and not the piece you'll you'll make the piece disappear and back to scene one this is my last piece I have the target selected now we won't see those so when we test it It'll still work exactly the same. So it gets close, locks in, locks in, locks in, locks in. The smaller you make those targets, the closer the person has to be. Uh, I think that's enough for this tutorial. There will be a follow up. I think it will be 39, and it will be jigsaw puzzle completed and that's when we'll say you completed the puzzle and for those that have animation we'll put some animation in I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned